What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks channel. My name is Corey. Today in the stock market, we did creep higher. And the question is, are we going to break out to brand new all-time highs or start to see the market roll over from here? First up, let's take a look at the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, so we will be moving fast today. So on SPY, we did go up 0.41% today and we did get rejected at that resistance level once again at 441. So this resistance level is very strong and we have not closed above this level for a single time. So respect SPY 441 because as you can tell, that will be strong resistance. If we do start to break above that level, we could be going to the next price target at 446, but don't look ahead, respect 441 while we're there. We still have the bull trend and we still have price action over a positive sloping 5 EMA, so it's still time to remain bullish until we see something changing. We need to see the market roll over by getting a price action close below 435, and below that, we still have critical support at 430, 429, and our 50 EMA around 428. So there will be a little bit of an air pocket of no support below SPY 435. So that will be the most critical support level on the chart. On the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs, we were up 0.18% today, and we still find resistance at that level at 367. We need to break back above 367 to get to our next price target at 370, but we will need to break above the previous all-time high just below 369. The rollover level to watch for on the triple Qs will be a close below about 362. And below 362, it is possible we're coming back down to the 50 EMA around 352. So below that 20 simple moving average, we'll still have support at 360 and 358. But again, below this 20 simple moving average, the market will look like it wants to roll over. So watch that level closely. We still have the bull trend and we still are attempting to break out of resistance. So watch 367 for a potential run up to the next price target at 370. On the Dow Jones, we were up 0.42% today and we still have resistance at 351 that we cannot break back above now for two days in a row. You can see plenty of selling pressure above that level. So as you can tell, all three indices are struggling to break out with today's price action. That doesn't mean we can't break out soon, but it's definitely a potential warning sign that we cannot break above resistance at these levels. We still have bull trends in all three indices, but the price action is telling us that there's a lot of sellers at these resistance levels. So on the Dow Jones, watch the rollover level below 348, and we still have the gap to fill at 346 and the 50 EMA at 345. If the Dow can break above 351, our next price target will be 355. On the Russell 2000, we were up 0.77% today. And again, we see the Russell 2000 finding resistance exactly where we would expect to see it at the 50 EMA. Remember, the Russell 2000 is coming out of a bear market, so the bears will short it at resistance, and we need to see IWM closing above 224 to scare the bears away. We do see the 5 EMA crossing back above the 13 EMA, but overall, we still have a bear trend with bearish price action below the 50 EMA. So the critical resistance levels will be just above 223, and if we could break out above 224, we could see the Russell run to 227. Critical downside support is now 222, 219, and 215, and we will see the Russell 2000 seeing a lot of bears raiding it until we can get above 224. On the RK ETF, we were up 0.21% today and we did close back above the 50 EMA yet again. However, we're still finding resistance at 122, which is our 20 simple moving average. And we need to see a bullish close above that level to start forming a bull trend. So look for resistance at 122 and then 128 with the critical downside support at 120. If we break below 120 support yet again, that will look like Arc K is rolling over and we will retest support at 116 and 112. So watch that rollover level if we close below 120. On the VIX, we were down a little over 3% today and we continue to see the VIX getting crushed. We're definitely seeing some higher lows being formed on the VIX, which does tell us that fear is elevated at these levels. We still see the VIX below 18.2 and not closing above 20. So there's no reason to believe that we're going into a stock market correction at these VIX levels. However, there's definitely increasing fear. So we are going into the potential VIX crush Friday to see if the VIX will head lower. And if we do see the VIX head lower, look for the indices to potentially break out to brand new all-time highs. If we see volatility coming back into this market and the VIX getting above 20, that could signal that we will see the market start to roll over and we're due for another pullback. On Bitcoin, we're currently up just 0.3% and we're continuing to find resistance at that level, which is the previous daily high, right around 40,500. That will be a critical resistance because that will signal a bullish breakout if we close above that level. So we will see a lot of selling pressure at resistance. Downside support will be 39,000 and our breakout level, which will be our 50 EMA around 36,000. At this point, you can tell Bitcoin is looking a little parabolic coming off of critical support. 
So it is due for a potential pullback and a retest of the breakout. So I'm looking for Bitcoin to potentially retest that 36,000 breakout before we see a confirmation bounce. And that should confirm that we are going into a bull market on Bitcoin. We're starting to develop bullish trending, but we need a confirmation breakout retest at 36,000. If we can break above 41,000, look for the next resistance level at 43,000. On Amazon stock, we did close lower today, going down 0.84%. And it does look like Amazon is in a consolidation wedge, which always increases the chance that we're about to see a big breakout. Amazon did report earnings after the bell, and now we see the reason that Jeff Bezos was trying to leave Earth. We did see a very bad earnings report, and it's very possible we see a very volatile price action day in Amazon going into tomorrow. Remember, the critical support at this point below the 20 simple moving average will be that 50 EMA at 3,500. So we need to see Amazon closing above 3,500 tomorrow, or we could potentially see a lot of volatility coming into the stock market. Amazon is a very heavily weighted stock in the indices, and if it's selling off, that will bring the rest of the stock market down with it. So watch critical support at 3,500, and below that, there will be another critical support level at the previous low at 3,400. Below that, things will be looking very ugly, so watch those two critical support levels closely. If for some reason Amazon does recover from that horrible earnings report, look for resistance above at 3,500 and our 20 simple moving average at 36.28. On Tesla stock, we finally saw that bullish breakout day going up 4.69% and we did see Tesla breaking out above the 20 simple moving average at 6.58. So we're very close to seeing Tesla going into a full bull trend with the bullish breakout. So look for critical support now at 6.58 and below that we have critical support at 6.50 and the critical breakout level will be up here at 6.92. Above 6.92, Tesla should be in a full bull market and we could see it running into the 760s. So watch that next breakout level at 692 with critical support down here at 658. On Apple stock, we were up 0.46% today and we did see Apple closing back over the 20 simple moving average yet again. We still have the bullish trend and we're still holding up above critical support, so Apple is still in a full bull trend. The next critical resistance breakout will be 148 yet again, and then we need to break out above a brand new all-time high above 149, and we could start running to our price target at 156. If we start breaking down, look for critical support at 145 and 143. And below 143, we're likely coming back down to close the gap at 137. On the financial sector, we were up 1.1% today and we did see the financial sector closing above the 50 EMA and the rest of the moving averages for that matter. We could start to build a bullish trend from here and we could start going into a bull rally yet again. The industrial sector was up 0.79% today and we still have bullish price action with the full bull trend with the industrials. The healthcare sector was up 0.24% today, closing back above the 5 EMA and still holding on to that very strong bull trend. The energy sector was up 0.97% today and it still closed below the 50 EMA and the 20 simple moving average and it's still in the full bear trend. So jump it back over to the S&P 500. We can definitely see a rejection at this critical resistance, but we still have the full bull trend with the bullish price action. If we can't break above resistance and we start to see the market losing momentum, we could see the market rolling over at these levels, so pay very close attention to that. We still have plenty of earnings to get through, but we are definitely seeing a lot of volatility and a lot of sell the news. Whether the earnings reports are good or bad, we're still seeing stocks selling off. So pay attention to that because it could be a warning sign that the stock market needs a correction before it can go any higher. But right now you need to stay objective and as long as we have the bull trends with the bullish price action, you don't want to assume anything. If we break out above 441, we could easily start running to 446. So don't just assume the market has to roll over because we had a couple of bad earnings. Also remember that I have my trade alert service that only trades T triple Q's and is called bank trade alerts. You get all of the buy and sell alerts directly via email and text message and all you have to do is execute the trades yourself. I'm currently running a 50% off promo code for your first month so now is the best time to try bank trade alerts. You can find out all of the details in the description below. I also have the stocks channel discord where I do intraday updates and analysis to help you navigate this market and stay on the right side of the trade. If you're interested in joining the Stocks Channel Discord trading community, you can find out how to join by clicking below. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.